Good afternoon. This is Craig again from ICT. And this video is to um, go over how to update your GP58CR thermal printers um, in response to the global firmware bug that occurred the 1st of January 2022. Uh, long story short, as an explanation, this is kind of like our version of the Y2K bug. Um, as soon as the internal calendar uh, clicked over to 1122, the calendar in units produced before 2017 and their firmware versions um, essentially ran out of space. It didn't know what um, January 1st, 2022 was. So in these units that encountered that, once it hit that date, it would start um, causing random things to happen, such as losing your multiplier settings, losing your decimal point, um, not printing the way that it was printing um, in December. So that would need to be updated, um, the firmware version on each of these printers, unfortunately. These um, affected models would be ones sold before um, uh, 2017, so including all of 2017 um, and prior. Um, it's still a good idea to apply any firmware updates as they are released and are available to um, change any of the settings that we may have found in our testing or uh, feedback from customers. We always try to incorporate any of the um, changes that seem feasible into the main production firmware. So um, any new features or whatnot can be uh, released out to all of our customers instead of just the ones who have requested those um, additional features. That being said, to update the firmware on the printers, it is a little bit different than updating your ticket formats as you would um, just using your DB9 cable with RG45 uh, directly into your computer or if you have a USB adapter. Um, that would be a uh, separate process. Um, you will continue to update your ticket formats once uh, in that same way, once we've updated the firmware on each of the printers uh, first. So to do that, um, you would need either an FP001 programmer, an FP004 programmer, or one of our MTB programmers. I will go through the steps um, using each one just to go over the process and allow um, you to follow along and or skip forward to go to the section that you need. So as I mentioned, we will start off first with the FP001. So you will need to have your printer already powered, um, either from a 12 volt, uh, your game cabinet, um, this as long as it has normal 12 volt power and on your uh, FP001 program there will be switches at the front. You want that to be set, let me autofocus there, all the way to L3 and to normal mode. You would then connect the included um, RG45, RG45 to the port on the programmer. And then secondly, plug it into the back of your printer. That will now restart the printer and illuminate uh, some LEDs on um, the FP001. So we want to see the lights L3 and L4. L4 will be flashing. 
if for some reason you haven't changed your mode, it will um, reflect which mode that you're in. So if you're in L1, you just got to switch over to L3 and that will uh, update the lights. So once you're in L3 and your L4 light is flashing, that means your um, printer and programmer are both ready to start the process. So you would hit your white button once, which will then cause your L4 light to go red for a second, go out, and then start flashing. This indicates that the process has been started and your printer will um, is in the process of updating its internal uh, software. Once the process is finished, your L4 light will turn off and then remain solid orange, and your printer would then also power cycle. Once this happens, you can then unplug your FP001 programmer, and then you can then proceed to hook this back up to your computer and interface with the new smart printer tool. I'll go over that later in the video but we'll continue going over the rest of the programmers to get your printer updated. Next, if you had one of our FP004 programmers and you got it preloaded from us, you would need to use The WELRF401 harness, it has a, a RJ45 on one end, a box in the middle, and a six pin on the other side. The six pin side would go into the programmer. You'll want to connect these two white boxes together. Then once you plug that in to your printer, there is a site, it will restart before you do anything. So once your light is uh, flashing green and your printer has power cycled, there is a little recess button here on the side. Go ahead and hold that in until your light changes to purple as such. When it is uh, flashing purple, that means the process has been started and the firmware is being uploaded to the printer.
when it starts to quickly rapid flash, that's doing a uh, verification, comparing what's stored in the programmer and uh, comparing what was written to your uh, printer, just to be sure that it does match 100%. Once the verification is complete, the LED will be solid green. Your printer will power cycle once, and then you can unplug your RG45 and hook up your um, uh, BB9 to RG45 cable that you used to con uh, configure your tickets previously. As mentioned earlier, we'll go over that in a moment. Um, we'll just cover the last step um, or the last option for updating your programmers would be with our NTV. So this one you want to um, power it on. You want to go up to ICT device operation, manually select, scroll down over here on the side, and press on thermal printer. It will be the 58CR. It's going to say the use the UART cable, which is the cable that comes off the top and goes to three connectors. The one we'll be using is the RG45 that plugs into the back of the printer like the rest of the um, programmers. And once you have it plugged in, you can click Next and go to Download. The top button here, the version that you'll want to be using is uh, N0. So it, if you have more than one CR firmware on your MTB, you'll have the rest of those listed here. But the one that addresses the uh, issue from the 1st of January is version N0. So you can click that one by selecting the button there. It's going to ask you, is this the one that you want to update? You can confirm by pressing enter. This gives you more of a status um, update as it's doing all the individual steps. So now on right firmware, it's actually um, being written from the MTB to your 58CR. Once the firmware is written, it will show you 100% and again or confirm and also power cycle your printer. Once you're finished, you can just click confirm and unplug your MTB from your uh, printer and 
hold the power button to turn it on, and your printer would now be updated with the latest um, firmware. So in the next video, we'll go over uh, using the new smart printer tool as your previous tool that you have been using will no longer function under the new printer firmware. As, um, also, if you, ha if you haven't updated your firmware and are still using older printers, um, they will not interface with the new tool either. So you have to match both versions, um, the software on the printer and the software on your computer to use to configure your tickets. So that will be in a follow-up video that will be posted shortly. Thank you and have a wonderful day.